Hello everyone. So welcome to the third episode of the Unreal Engine High Performance Cross System. So here what we are going to work on is uh, now in this cross system we have an issue. So once we change some parameter here, for example, let's say if I change this to 50, now you see this generated cross vanishes. And also if you reload the level, then again the generated grass is vanished, so it doesn't save. So what I want to do is, I want to make it permanent so that it will not vanish whenever we do some change. Okay, so if you are not familiar with this system, we were working on a system to, uh, to allow us to render a huge amount of grass compared to the conventional grass rendering system that we have in Unreal Engine. So here, this all these grass blades are generated with the code. So because of that, uh, we are using also procedural meshes as well. So this using this method, we can have much dense grass and it renders to very further away without culling and still we can maintain a very high frame rate. So this is what we are working on in this series. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you that you can download all the project files uh, of each project that I have covered in my channel from Patreon page, including this project. So once you become a member, you can download anything without a limit. And to the date, there are over 1,007, uh, closer to 1,700 videos. Right, with that said, let's get back to the tutorial. Alright, so as I mentioned in the previous episode, in order to make it persistent, we have to use a little bit of C++. So, let me create a C++ class, a new C++ class, an actor class, so I'll call it CLM cross CLM stands for code let me if you want and create add in code to the project we may have to uh, no they actually in this project I this is the same project that I was working on the runtime landscape generator generation so therefore we already have some C++ part in this project so therefore I don't have to restart the project and recompile from Visual Studio and uh, run the project again. But if you don't have any C++ projects uh, code already in your project, you may have to close the editor and run the Visual Studio project and build from there. Project is started compiling. Let's reload all. Okay, now here I got CLM grass H header file and CLM grass CPP C++ file. Okay, now here on the public, I'll add a new component, uh, a reference to new procedural mesh component. So this has to be a U property because we need to access this from blueprints as well. I'll make it blueprint read only and the component type is U procedural mesh but in order to use U procedural mesh I have to use this procedural mesh component header file. So you can see the mesh thin size still loading. So we have as component. I'll call it grass mesh. Okay. By the way, uh, yeah. Unreal C++ view 
This is defined in this procedural mesh component module. So you may have to add that into here. So I already have it because I used it in world terrain generation. But if your project is a new one, you will have to add this and rebuild the project. So most of the errors are gone, but still the intelligence is rolled in, so that should be the reason this for these errors. Okay, now here we don't really need to pick this, so I'll make it false, and this should be capital. The grass mesh. Let's initialize, create the component. Class mesh equals create default sub object. If you are not familiar, this is how we add components in C. So this is the type U procedural mesh component text class mesh. This is the display name of the component that we are going to create and here class mesh setup attachment get root command so this should be attached to whatever the root we have if not it will be the root okay Save and then go back to the project and compile. Okay, compilation successful. Now, here uh, I'll make this class system. It is the current parent class is actor. So I'll go to class settings and I'm gonna reparent this to. CLM grass compile now we have this grass mesh in the row so I'm gonna replace this procedural mesh with the grass mesh right Okay, and delete this. We don't need this anymore. Now, again, select the grass system and render. Okay, now we have the grass generated grass. So, if I now change something, for example, let's say maybe it's 250, so it's not going away. Let's start a save. Right. Uh, let me save and reload. Okay. Now, if I reload this, the grass will be still here. See, I just reloaded. Let me reload again. Just to show. Okay. So, grass is not going anywhere. All right. So, that's actually all I wanted to cover in this episode. Uh, one more thing. Here, now that we the grass persists, I think it would be better if we have another custom event to clear grass. So here. Well, actually, this is all we need to do. Set the mesh index to zero and clear all mesh sections and compile. Also, let's make this call in editor enabled. 
right now here we have clear cross option and generate cross option if i press clear it's all gone if i generate it's generated again okay so in future let's look into further more optimizations of the, into the system and also perhaps implement some uh, interaction with other actors like when the character moves around the grass there should be uh, some reaction in the grass things like that also and also i wish to do uh, the same thing in c plus plus as well so perhaps you can gain some performance so see how it works basically or perhaps see if we can make it faster the generation and especially if you are planning to do it in the runtime this generation part for some reason it would be better to do this in c plus plus level so yeah let's look into those things in future episodes and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for you to download in the patron page link could be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye